Alright, hey guys, uh, today I have an app review for the iPod or iPhone. Mine is an iPhone 3GS, uh, 32 gigabyte version. Um, if you have an iPod Touch or an iPhone, then chances are your uh, web browser is Safari. There really haven't been any third party uh, internet browsers until now. So I'm just going to type in my password. And I'm going to show you a new uh, third-party internet browser called Opera Mini. Now this um, this does have a lot of potential, and but right now I don't think it's as good as Safari, um, mainly because there's like glitches with it, with like pinch and zoom, and I don't know. Right now it's just not as good, but of course there can be updates to it and it'll definitely get better so first I'm gonna start off and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see better now uh, right now you can see this main page this is the main page of it where you can uh, add all sorts of uh, home pages for it simply you simply tap it type in the address and then it stays on there so you can just tap one and it'll go there now uh, to start things off Opera is much, much, much faster than Safari. Like, it loads pages so much easier, um, which is good for uh, people who are, like, stuck using Edge or anything like that. And it's just good overall. Uh, you can change the settings. And uh, first you'll see bookmarks, and then you can just add pages to bookmarks. That's self-explanatory. History. You can clear your history and all that stuff. Um, you can go back to the start page from wherever you're at. You can do save pages, which, I don't know, it's kind of like the same thing as bookmarks. I don't know what the point of it is. Um, find in page, that is just like Command F or Control F on, uh, on like a computer. So that's really cool that they added that. And... Uh, settings is where you're pretty much going to do pretty much all of your tweaking. Like, um, first one is load images. You can choose to make it uh, load the images and the images on a page. And if you choose not to, then everything will load so much faster. But I like having that on. Uh, image quality. Uh, there's font size. I would suggest keeping it on large because it's uh, really hard to see if, if it's on small really you're gonna be zooming in you're gonna be zooming in the whole time uh, mobile view will load uh, will make the websites load in a mobile form not the full actual website um, you can make it full screen or not which is basically it takes away uh, it takes away the loading bar it takes away like a bar at the top that you'll see later um, and that's yeah, pretty much anything exciting in there uh, so, also, this you can add tabs to it, which I thought was really cool. You can add a lot. So now I'm just going to uh, load up a website. And you can see it loads uh, really fast. And then I'm just going to open up another tab. And, uh, as you can see, I'm running on a Wi-Fi network. And, yeah, so you can just switch between your tabs and yeah that's pretty cool now as you can see it loads pages like really fast uh, we're gonna go to uh, my opera and see as you can see everything loads really good uh, and now I'm just gonna go back to this page and the only problem I really see with it is, like, I don't know, pinch and zoom is like, it messes up, like, pretty often. You don't really have that much control control over it. So, like, and it, it does occasionally have, like, its bugs and everything. But overall, it's a really good uh, third-party uh, application that could easily replace uh, 
Safari if speed is what you're most concerned about. Now I'm going to show you a finding page and I'm just going to do type in let's see um, home delivery and then you hit and then you just hit next and it'll show you and you hit next again and it'll, sh and it'll show you up there so it's just like control F on a Windows computer or command F on a Mac which is really useful too so uh, yeah overall this is a good application I mean still it has its bugs and everything but of course everything will have its bugs so uh, with an update it'll most likely get fix and I could really see myself using this uh, over Safari so uh, thanks for watching I'll catch you guys in the next video